Hello, welcome to our channel Tech Science. The surprising the new study finds that people who wear mask are more likely to become infected with COVID-19 than those who don't. By University of Vermont, a unique new study suggests that the behavior public officials are now mandating or recommending unequivalence to slow spread of surging COVID-19. Wearing a mask, COVID should come to the COVID if not accompanied by proper public education to the practice could lead to more infections. The finding is a port in a study that publicized the CMIR public health and surveillance that was conducted by a team of health economists on public health faculty at the University of Vermont Lanner College of Medicine in partnership with the public health officials for the state of Vermont. The study combines survey data gathered for the adults living in northern western Vermont with the test results that shows whether a substance of the had contract COVID-19 as dual reaches approach the few COVID studies have employed. By correlating the two data sets, researchers were able to determine what behaviors on the circumstances increase the responded risk of becoming the sick. The key risk the factor dividing the transmission of disease the study found was the number of daily contact participants had with adults and seniors. That had relevance for the two other findings, those who wore mask had more of these daily contact compared with those who did not on higher proportion contracted virus as a result. The basic the human psychology could be the work the said Alain Van D. Brokid Alterberg, an assistant professor and vice chair for population health science of department of radiology has a learner College of the Medicine of the Study, Principal of Investigator. When you wear a mask, you may have a despite sense of being the protective and have more interaction with other people, she said. The public health implications are clear messaging that people need to wear mask is essential but insufficient. She said it should go hand in hand with education that mask don't give a free pass to see many people as you want. You still need to strictly limit your contact. Public education messaging should be made clear how to wear a mask safely to limit infection, Van de Broeg Alterberg added. The study also found that the participant living environment determined how many contacts they had on affected their probability of becoming infected. A higher proportion the living apartments were infected with the virus compared with those who lived a single family home. If you live in an apartment, you are going to see more people in a daily basis than if you live in a single family home, so you need to regulate about the social distancing when the broke Aldred said. The study controls the profession of the prevent assistional contact and or usually requires to wear mask. For receiving the results, it is generally known that essential workers are the higher risk. But other study board that the Van Dien Bone said, who wanted to see what the alleged the predicator that the people were going to seek, she said. The report in the cases of the citizen country environment were only one fifth of likely total. The study provides the first estimate of the unreported cases of the Vermont the citizen country where most study the participant live the survey mount 2.2 percent of the survey group of the contracted the virus suggesting that the estimated 3621 citizen country residents were likely to have become compared with just 662 reported cases just 18 percent only the figure that translates the hospitalization rate 1.2 percent on the adjusted infection facility rate is 0.5 percent the, this finding is important the policy makers Van de Broek Alderberg said in and the out of the Vermont. If you know the how many people are sick or have been sick, 
you are much better equipped to make the precise the prediction of will happen in future and fashion appreciate the policy she said it also shows the importance of seriology on pcr testing for general population she said if you only the test to the sympathetic the patient you will never be able to find out how many people have already had the virus with our random sample the study we were able to show that the government has so far only the tested the less than the one fifth of people who have likely had the virus to capture the larger the population the random the samples of the population or needed the so we can also the capture a sample of the patients which appears to be the majority of the covid-19 cases the study among other things is a proof of the concept van de broeck altenberg said i hope it leads to other larger studies the combined the survive the data with the widespread the testing this approach the essential the both understanding the dynamic of this pandemic on planning our response to the future ones the 10 of the 454 the survey responded who took the serologic tested the positive of the virus give the small number researches simplified their mo- models and we are able to the reach the high confidence level into the two key findings we tested our models and the results were the robust through the several different models of specification van de broeck altenberg the said to create the study the group the researchers the sent of the survey the 12000 randomly selected people between the ages 18 to 17 who had at least one primary care visit the university of the vermont medical center which services the primarily northwestern vermont in the past 3 years the following become the vermont the lenar cases the medicines of the following the infected diseases of the population the public health of the university of the vermont thank you for watching on like and share and subscribe